Hey guys, welcome to part two of our EG4 Echo Worthy battery experiment. The goal here is to combine uh, the Echo Worthy and the EG4 into one big battery. So we're going to hook these together in parallel. Not sure how well that's going to work out, but we're going to find out. Uh, now, we can't just willy nilly hook these up together, we got to get them all at the same voltage. So that's what we're going to work on today is we're going to top balance all the cells and all these batteries, get everything to the exact same voltage, and then we'll hook them all together, right? All right, so let's take a look. In each one of these batteries, you actually have 16 cells. And if you have one cell that's way lower than another cell, then that's going to greatly reduce your capacity, and it's going to reduce the life span of the batteries because one of them will be working too hard and it'll fail first right so we want to get these all the same or at least really close and what we're shooting for is 3.65 on every one of these cells so i'm gonna try and hold it at 100 percent for two three hours or however long i can and hopefully we'll come out of that with them being pretty close um huh Look at that, that just jumped up, that's odd. Oh, we must be getting close to, oh geez, okay. Well, that's why we just hit 100. So anyways, if we get this thing balanced out nice, then the next thing I wanna do is hook up my little power supply here and we'll set it to 58 volts and then we'll set the current really low, like maybe two, 300 milliamps. We're just going to hook that 58 volts across there and let some current go in really slow so that you don't get what you just saw there, that, that red cell, you know, popping past the 3.65. Like, we don't want that to happen. So, that's the idea. If we go through the natural uh, top balancing and then add maybe a day or two of this type of finish balancing, I guess you call it. Hopefully that'll work. And then over here, now this guy's not connected to solar. He's just on his own over here. So I had to go ahead and hook up a power supply to that one. Let's put an 18 amps in here, which is about, you know, 2.6 per battery right now. We're at 96% on this bank. But we'll do the same thing. I'll get it to 100, and then we'll put this power supply on and low current and try and top all those off. All right, so I went ahead and put the car on here to try and drain the battery a little bit to see if we could, you know, maybe massage it a bit. So now we're pulling 82 amps out of the bank. And you see this guy is discharging. So one, two, three, they're all discharging now. So that's good. We'll bring it down a little bit and then we'll try topping it again. I think I got to reduce the amount of current so as this voltage goes higher, gets closer to 58, I'm going to put more current to the car so that it'll reduce the amount that can go to the battery. And of course, we're working with the sun here too, so this is a little bit of a juggling act. It'll be easier with a power supply, but we'll be back. I just noticed this is climbing really fast now, so I think things are probably at yeah, three six one okay we got to get over here to the car before we get too much let's crank that up that'll bring my current way down oh i think we already shut off let's see some of them shut off some didn't so we hit some any cell hits that high voltage well, this one hasn't yet I don't think but when any one of them hits it it's shutting down Let's see this guy. 3517 is 3.518 all right so I think I'll mess with this a little more all right look at this three six four seven that's about to shut this battery down three six five boom there it went turns red and then i'm guessing that we're not going to be charging here anymore 
So if you're watching this and you know what you're doing, you're probably like screaming at the computer now, like, do this. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we're still putting 11 amps in, so we still got a couple of them charging. That's the other problem I got is my wife's about to take the car, so I won't be able to limit the current. <laughs> a lot of factors here. To do this next step, I'm going to hook up this little power supply with only one amp of current, <clears throat> and then we're going to try and slowly bring all these cells up to the same voltage. So let's go ahead and hook right, that. Up. So I set this to 58, but of course it pulled the voltage down to the level of the battery, and we're putting one amp in. And here are our cell voltages. Now this might take forever, so I might go ahead and crank the amps up a little bit till we get closer. But that's all I'm doing. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I don't know how well that top balancing routine worked, but the good news is I've been running this for two and a half years in a, in a way that it, get, it was basically top balanced already. So it was already in good shape. So we're going to call this one ready to go. Close it up. It's turned off and ready. And I'm working on this one now. Now remember the this guy is connected to the solar, which means you know it's running the house, it's charging the car, it's doing a bunch of things. So I don't have complete control over how this charges. But you can see we're at 95%. We got 50 amps going in, and I'm burning, I'm diverting 6,000 watts into the house basically, and the car. Because as this gets closer to 100%, I, want, I don't want to have that much current going in. Otherwise, we'll just blow past the, you know, what the, the highest cells in those banks. They'll just tap out at uh, 3.65, and they'll shut down. So I need to be able to bring that up a lot slower. So one thing I can do is I can divert more power to the car. So basically, you know, put more current over there. That cranks that up to about 6,600 watts, and now we only have 32 amps going into the bank. So I'm limited here by nine, I can only put out 9,000 watts, so I can crank the car up a little more, but not much. So we'll kind of see how this goes as we get closer to 100. All right, so we redlined on this one. I think that was the last one. We jumped up to the 58 volts and they're all charged so i think that was a pretty good run right there so i'm gonna let this sit on 58 volts for a few minutes and then i'm gonna shut the whole thing down and then we'll do our little experiment with the power supply on this bank and see if we can make it any better all right guys check this out <laughs> and don't do this at home definitely don't do this at home so I needed a way, because this was all charged to the max, I needed a way to drain it so I can, you know, get the BMS to accept voltage again. So I hooked up this guy and I got 500 watts or so going into here. How about that? This guy and this guy, that's under, that's a 30 kilowatt hour power station for under four grand. How about that? Don't recommend that. When it gets down far enough, then I'm going to turn this off. And then we'll see if we can, you know, sort of trickle charge this guy and top these cells off a little better than they were. All right, so I drained it down to 99. Let's look at the cells on this one. There you go. Hey, and we're only 0.01 between the highest and the lowest. That's pretty good. So now... Uh, I really don't want to do this, but I gotta pull that out of there. Let's do this first. We'll turn this off. Ready? Oh, baby. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Now we're at 53.64, and I'm putting 150 milliamps in there, so it should go up real slow. We'll just let it sit here for a long time. I don't know if I want to trust it overnight though. What do you think? Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> so I upped it to four amps since we're pretty far from full. We're at 53.9, can probably go all the way to 
before I start lowering that. So as you can see, we're at 55.03 volts. I'm gonna start dialing down that four amps a little bit. And you can see where all the cells are at. Our top cell is at 3.502, so we're getting close to where this is gonna speed up. All right, look at this. We're at six or 3.643 really close and I went ahead and cut the current down to 1.5 amps now remember that gets split between six batteries so you know, around 200 milliamps but maybe I'll lower that a little more let's see 3.643 I lowered it down to one amp and we are at 3.6 3.645 this is probably the first one that's going to trip 3.645 one amp getting split between six batteries we're going slow we're up to 3.649 I've got it at one amp 55.9 volts Took a while to get here. I think I finally got this figured out. Unfortunately, it's like midnight, so I'm probably gonna have to shut this down because it'll probably take a couple more hours. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna call it on the top balancing. I don't think I got it quite right. You know, if I did another round of this, I think I would cut the current earlier and take it really low and just take like three days. And that might work better but I think this is good enough for now, and um, the way that I used it, like this guy, for two and a half years, I mean, it's perfectly top balanced because I always get it to 100% at least three, four, five times a week. So I think if I do that with this guy, it's going to be just fine. So we'll see how it goes after a month or two. But I'm going to turn my attention now to hooking these together. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.